Welcome to this short video where we'll demonstrate how to customise your Cisco IP phones the easy way. You may be familiar with the standard process for customising phones. This includes creating the images in a specific format and size for each type of Cisco phone that you have in your organisation. Next you create an XML definition file, again for each type of phone that you have. You then upload the images to a TFTP server along with the XML file and restart the service. Finally, if you've got all the previous steps correct, you can download the image to the phone, or rather, you must then individually and manually download it to each phone, visiting every handset. So, the alternative is IPCommute Phone Customizer. This allows you to prepare and bulk deploy images in minutes to hundreds or thousands of phones. So here I'm starting up the application. There's some getting started info displayed, but I'll just connect to my cluster. Here I can specify any server in the cluster that runs the AXL service and a user that we've assigned the correct permissions to. There's also a box here where I can specify which IP address is the one that the phones can reach. They actually download the images direct from the application. So we're in demo mode here, but we are connected. If I switch to the deployment tab, I can see a list of all the phones in this cluster with the registration info and other information about each device. I can also click on this to switch to the screen view and see the actual screens of all the phones on the cluster. For now I'll switch back to my import tab and I'll just import one of the sample images on my PC. Straight away the application builds the images for each type of phone and you can preview how each of these will look by selecting the type from this list. So what I'm going to do is deploy an image to one of the phones. I'm going to right click on it, click deploy and then just click on the image that I imported. It only takes a few seconds and we can switch over to the screen view and you can see that this 7941 that I've deployed it to has been updated with a new image. I've also got CIPC running on this laptop so I'm going to deploy the same image to this Again, just takes a few seconds. So that was quick, but there's a bit of black space on the right. What I can do is go back to this Import tab, select the IP Communicator type, and I can just adjust these sliders to reposition the screen and expand it a little bit just to cover up any black space. And I can go back to this screen, deploy the image again, and straight away that's updated far quicker than messing around with files on the TFTP server. So next I'm going to import another image. It's quite a familiar logo. Um, but it's white, so it's going to take a bit of manipulation. I'm going to just shrink it down to size. I'm going to change the background colour into white. I'm going to adjust the other models that I've got as well, just so the, the screens are, are filled with this logo. Note that the 7911s stick with this default image. They have very basic screens, so trying to fit a normal image on them just looks really bad. You can import a simple logo into the set of images, however, so we'll just import this one. I'll also import it into this other set of images as well. Make the background white once more. and finally into that one. Now we'll go back to the deployment tab and we'll deploy this image to all the phones that we're showing as registered. So we simply select them all, right click, deploy, pick the image and a few seconds later we can flick back to the screen view and we should see that all the phones have been updated with the new image. And that's all there is to it. Please visit our website for more information and download an evaluation version today.